point. Now it is my time to shine. All right. So hello there artisans and welcome back again. So today I want to give you some tricks on how to introduce people into your paintings and if you have been struggling how to paint people I believe that this is the right video tutorial for you and these are the samples of my portraits that I have done and these are more closer portraits so the difference with this to the people from a distance is that this portrait has more of the details you can actually see their eyes their nose and their mouth and what kind of details they have on their clothings and how their face expression looks like so that's how it's um, you can uh, see actually in most paintings and this one is a little bit further probably around if you're standing from a distance of 70 or, or probably 100 centimeters from this woman then you would probably know that I am in this area and looking towards her so the difference with that is how would you draw a person very far from a distance okay and you don't actually see how they look like or what they're doing or what's the face expression is but you just see the basic face and the, the basic informations on the body right so there are two tricks in there in the way we're gonna draw the uh, people but I'll just gonna show you this easier for you to practice and one good thing to introduce people in your painting is to also stabilize your ideas and to stabilize yourself to trust your ability on how to um, make a contrast whenever you're gonna paint so for example if you have here a a landscape let's say this is the this is the horizon and these are like the fields or so okay let's say that's the field and you want to introduce that there are people there most of us probably will gonna think how are we going to paint the people in here right so how are we going to put the people in here when this is a field and there's the tree so always remember that this is the horizon okay so let's imagine there's a tree over here and there's also a tree over there and there's like a mountain here now when you're looking at the distance the person that you're looking at will probably be just like a dot so probably since the horizon has a focal point and the disappearing point is here so I'm gonna probably put the person over here okay all right so at least we know that there are people there right then you you can see that there are there's life in the included in the painting and we're gonna do it as well here all right so you can see that there are people moving in the painting right so I'm gonna show you now the tricks on how to do it so I'm just gonna divide this paper all right okay we're gonna draw this with this red pen so that it's easier for you to remember without me erasing the stuff what we're gonna do is to practice on a carrot okay this is a carrot method in drawing so remember that the carrot is looking like this oh my pen is not working all right so we're gonna start with the carrot method i'm gonna draw it with the pen so that i don't need to erase anything and the tendency is if i use this pencil what happens is that 
I will be unsure on how to draw it. And the best thing to train yourself is to draw it in, with a pen that you can never erase, right? So the method of the carrot is probably is mostly like this, right? Like so, and there's these uh, green leaves over here, right? I hope that suggests a carrot in your eyes. So that's how a carrot looks like to me. Now we're gonna turn the carrot method into a human. First and foremost, we're gonna do the basic shape. So the basic shape is like a triangle, but downwards. We're gonna do this in triangle. All right. Now we're gonna convert this into a person that is probably walking towards us. We're gonna create the head over here. We're gonna pretend that this flat line is the shoulder and we will create the head small. Why? Because if you are actually looking at a person from a distance, the head is small. Okay. If you put the head big as the shoulder, what will happen is that it will look like a child. So now we're gonna put this a little bit into the half, right? Half of the carrot. And this will serve to us like a um, like a the pelvis. Okay, this is, will be the edge of the pelvis, and we're gonna put it like that. Okay, and then we'll just have to put a shade on that. And as you can see now, there's already a movement just by doing this. Okay, and then we're gonna create the. Uh, hand over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little bit of triangle here and we'll pretend that this guy is holding a little bit of bag okay let's see and we're gonna shade it over here because the light comes from this side and now we're gonna create some details in here just the basic ones that we mostly see on people so we're gonna pretend he's wearing some nice blazers, okay? All right, looks like that. And we're gonna create the hand like that. We don't need to put a lot and we're gonna add the shadow. So as you can see, there's already a created movement from here, right? There will always be a space between the neck, but that's fine so that you can distinguish that it's a person. And then when you walk, looking at the person um, from a distance, you usually see them like this. Actually, like the shoulder is like a little bit of upwards, right? So that's like the shoulder line and we're gonna put some of the shades here. A little there as well. Okay, just to show that. Okay, all right. Now you can see that there's already a movement in here. Now we're gonna train once again and see how this works. Okay, but probably this time I'm gonna do it with the pencil. Okay, since I am sure already how to do it, I want you to practice at least five times as you see this. Okay, I was gonna do it with a triangle, right? and on the half and then we're just gonna go in the middle remember that this is the edge of the pelvis and just like a line over there all right and then make a little bit longer line just to make it more dramatic and let's put a little bit of shade over there and just a little bit of oblong head oblong shape and let's put it here we're gonna create another kind of and say that he's walking all right like that and we're gonna add it so now we're just gonna have give him some t-shirt probably or like that right probably so. all right now we'll give him some hats okay now as you can see it works very well but then we're gonna do three more just for a practice right 
So we're gonna do it like so. Right? You just have to practice yourself, okay? Just to make it faster. Okay? And this will train you actually in creating a lot more dramatic feel on your paintings. So these also are my method even when I'm painting watercolor or acrylic. Okay. All right. Let's see. So that applies like so. And we're gonna do one more here. So you can put the shading on the right or on the left so it doesn't matter so long that one is shorter and the other side is longer okay so let's gonna show you like this should look like that okay it looks like that because once a person is walking you will only see the legs here and the, the feet is actually hiding behind and that's the thing that you cannot see and as well as the feet that walks towards you that's the feet that uh, and the legs you will actually see the legs and here's the kneecap you will see the legs there and then the feet there and here's the shoes so that's how you're gonna do so even if you always have to think that even if you paint it um, reversed it doesn't matter because so long you will introduce a shade it represents actually which part are moving forward and which part is moving backwards all right so that's how you're gonna do that now what if we color what if we paint with colors okay now we're gonna do the practice with colors okay so i'm gonna use just a black color just to introduce to you the simplicity of this okay now i'm gonna use this brush this is just an ordinary brush with a long round and sharp line okay so i it's wet already and i'm gonna use the aqua drop okay now we're gonna do the triangle as i've said again okay so we're gonna do just the halfway of the triangle first and we're gonna paint it as light as we can okay and now we're gonna do that and we'll just have to leave a little bit of space okay so we'll make that darker okay and now we're just gonna have to put some hands how you're gonna do is just to strike with your brush once okay like so okay and you have to put one more stroke there so that it will become triangle and that's the movement and then we're gonna put some head here right so now as you can see that's already a moving once you see that the shadow is like right here then you know that when he's walking the light is here so the shadow can be on that side so it's like it's like from the uh, you have to imagine where's the light coming from okay so we're gonna do it one more time like so We're going to make this longer. Okay. You always have to create the line a little bit slightly on the side. You don't have to make a straight line because you have to introduce the movement. You have to, to show the viewer that this person is actually on the move all right now we're gonna put the head again here and we're gonna put the hand like that and over here we're gonna make this longer 
also so some hands could be some of the arms could be shorter than the other so that creates a movement it doesn't need to be so perfect because it should only represent the it should only represent the movement of the person and whenever you're gonna create the shadow you have to remember that it should not be so close to the to the edge of the feet right so i hope that you have learned something from that and see you again on the next art Shadows overnight and after them you shine bright Cause inside your head, on goes the light Ignite Clever the intuition upon the stars in the night that glitches To you they listen to me, you ascend and I wish it Listen, do your own math and learn from the stuff that you are missing Create your own path with your own vision